So I wanted to make a quick video about Benro tripods. Buying tripods, number one, is one of the hardest things. Uh, I've bought a bunch of shitty ones, you know, $100 ones here and there. They end up breaking and you gotta go out and buy another one. So, <clears throat> probably like last year, I uh, bought a Benro, this one right here. I think it was like, with the S6 head, around 350 maybe $400, something like that. Which is still, you know, not the most expensive. You know, it's like a mid-range uh, for like a decent tripod. But I was just like, damn, I gotta drop this much money on just something that's gonna hold my camera. But it was probably the one of the one of the best things I've purchased. I use it for everything. And just how smooth it is, how, you know, it can handle obviously the weight of my camera. I have the DVX 200. Um, it's not, that's not even a heavy camera, it's just like a big camera, but, uh, this, I mean, this tripod is one of the best investments that I've made, and the other day, I was at a skate park filming, and somehow broke one of my, one of my clips, it's actually still broken, uh, what one is it, this one right here, you know, just sl slide right off, so somehow that broke, um, I called Ben Rowe up, Number one, you know, they, some guy, it was, it gave me a bunch of choices and then, you know, it said like repairs or whatever and the guy picked up immediately and I was just like, yeah, I broke my clip on my tripod, I would like to get a new one, you know, how, whatever, let me know. He tells me, um, have you ordered with us before? Like, have you been in the repair shop before? And I was like, no, this is my first time. You know, I just broke a, broke a clip off. I don't know how, but it was my you know it was my fault. Um, and granted, the clip's probably not too expensive to buy anyways. Like, what's the max? It's going to be probably twenty dollars, um, and it's probably not even that. But he was just like, "I'll yeah, we'll we'll send you one out today." And I'm like, "You want me to pay for it?" Like I you know, and he was like, "No no no, you know." Just like the customer service for that, for them just to be like, I'm gonna send you this clip out for free. I mean, granted, it's not like a big deal, but to have that kind of customer service and for them just to be like, here, I'm gonna send you this clip out and you can fix your tripod is, to me, that is worth everything. That is worth the, the money that I paid for the tripod and I will 100% be sticking with this company when I buy another one. I was just blown away by how, how awesome it was that they were just like yeah we'll send you one and you know they sent they sent it to me and it came in two days later so that guy shipped it out that day and it came in two days later so I was like you know they it seems like they actually care about you know their customer and their products and things like that so you know I, I just wanted to make a video about that because I was very impressed with with that for them just to be like yeah we'll send you out a new one don't worry about it it's on us you know, and it was my fault that I broke the clip. You know, granted, it's 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 not a pricey part to fix, but just for them just to be like, yeah, I got you, is uh, that's big, man. And and they they've definitely sold me on. I will be a lifetime customer of theirs for sure, because this was, I mean, that's just cool. You know, I, I feel like if anything breaks on here they'll take care of you. Granted, you know, if I call back and a clip breaks, they'll probably be like, yeah, you know, you gotta obviously pay for this one, but yeah, this tripod right here is the Benro A373F, and it's the aluminum tripod, and then the the head is the S8 head. I absolutely love, love this head. Actually, oops. One thing that that is weird is, um, and, and my buddy actually has the same, my buddy has the same tripod. And what's weird is the uh, leveling bubble on the top where the head is. The bubble like was expanding and, and shrunk and expanding. And like it wasn't in, you know, it was in my car a couple times, but mo mainly in my house. It wasn't like hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. The bubble just eventually disappeared. So like there's no leveling on the head now, which is, and it happened to him too, my buddy. It happened to him before it happened to me. And I was just like, when he told me about his, I was like, oh damn, that sucks. Like maybe you got a bad, bad bubble. But it happened to me too, so I'm like, that's definitely, it's definitely weird. 
um, randomly, if I put my tripod in like my trunk for a little while, it'll come back to like a normal bubble, but then a couple days later it'll be gone. Yeah, I mean, other than that, it's, um, yeah, this tripod is amazing. It's, and definitely, I mean, spend your money on an expensive tripod or, or you know, you'll get what you pay for. Um, when I bought, you know, $100 tripods here and there, they would just break and, and crap out on me. And it's just not worth it, you know, if you're going to get into it. And I was into photography out first. I wasn't into video, so I never really needed, like, a big, big head tripod and all that. But uh, once I jumped into video, I realized that I needed something that was smooth and that could hold, you know, a heavy camera. So, you know, $350 is not that much um, for something like this. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome product. I am uh, very excited. All right. Later.